All right, guys. So in this video, what we're going to do is quickly run through the brute forcing um, by hijacking the stayed in cookie. So you'll notice it's encoded as a base64 when you try and authenticate, but uh, I'll just quickly go for a demonstration in a bit. Uh, accessing the, the page, go into the account, obviously make sure you're logged out. Log back in using the username and password. And making sure the stay logged in is obviously clicked. Once you've done that, obviously you can see the update email button is available. Um, but more important, if you have a look at the stay to login um, cookie, and if you highlight over it, you can see it actually decodes to the um, the username and quite possibly the uh, hashed password. So send it to intruder, send it to the add in that one payload. And what we're gonna do is try and construct that payload as part of each of the brute force attacks. So the first one obviously hash into MD5. Secondly, as you know, we put in the username, so in this case it's Wiener, and obviously the uh, colon. <coughs> uh, it obviously, don't include the space. And then the other one is uh, to encode on base64 again. So in here, we know that the user, uh, the password is Peter. So if we go into the options, obviously we're looking for the email update, uh, update email, I should say. So log out. In here, if you type in the update email to try and point out a match when we drew the brute force. But obviously when we run 200, we get a big payload response back and you can see that the username is Wiener that we're actually logged in. So we knew that that processing of that payload works. So so quite simply now what we can do is put in the new username or the username that we're trying to hack. So in this case it's Carlos. Make sure that is in order. So put that into second or where it was before, just with the new username. And then obviously click on to the candidate password. We're just gonna try and brute force into one of these. And then paste into the payload options. Again, we're running it 100 times. Give that a start. Shouldn't take too much time, but we're looking for the one with the huge payload, uh, which gives an indication that we're essentially logged in. Uh, okay, you can see that congratulations have been popped up, so we know that one of these requests were actually successful. If we scroll down, you can see the 200 response here. So if we wanted to, we can get the password from this, but say this one would, uh, this is how to access logging into Carlos. Very good. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.